buttons. Just one moment. I'm just making sure we are in the right spot. I know we're in the right spot, but making sure we're popping up okay. And doing a quick sound check really quick. And there we go. Let's go ahead and push that forward a little bit. And I think I just made myself crooked. There we go. There we go. Sorry about that, folks. Welcome to Cards by TLC. My name is Tammy Savello, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator out of the San Francisco Bay Area. Whether you are joining me for the first time or returning, welcome. If this is your first time joining, I'm so happy to have you here. And if you have not yet subscribed yet, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to all so you don't miss any of my future lives or videos. Um, as you know, I do have a personal goal of a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, and I would love your help with that. So if you have not yet subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe. Today is Thursday, August 17th, and welcome to my weekly live video. If you are catching me on the replay, go ahead and skip forward a minute or two while I say hello to everyone. Hello, Marcy. Hello, Patty. Welcome. I'm still a little crooked. Okay. Let's... Oh, I probably... I think I just made that worse. One sec. Boy, I'm, I'm starting off uh, great here. I think I'm okay now. I'm so sorry. Thank you for um, helping me out with that. Um, as you know, I'm so sorry that you all missed me last week. I was not feeling well. I needed to take care of a medical issue, So, but I'm on the mend. I'm so happy to be crafting again with you this week. So... Um, it looks like I am good. Okay, perfect. Well, today we are continuing on with my birthday series in honor of my birthday month. So we are going to be playing with the beautiful balloons bundle and that can be found in your annual catalog on page 15. So let us go ahead and show you that bundle really quick. It is adorable birthday balloons with coordinating dies. Um, I absolutely love the font on this. It's a great um, birthday celebration um, bundle. So let's go ahead and see the projects that we are going to be creating today. We are going to be creating these three cards that we are going to be making here live on the video. And if you place an order in my online store between today and through August 21st, which is Monday, through Monday of a $35 um, order or more, you will receive all the supplies to make two of each of these three projects. So that is six cards total. I will pre-cut and prep the cardstock for you. Now please be sure to use this host code when you do so. Um, that way I know you want to participate and receive these card kits. Um, you can take a screenshot, but it will be in the description box below. Um, but when you do place a $50 order or more, you'll be receiving, now this is before tax and shipping, you will be receiving as a thank you gift to me, the um, three pack tinsel gems. And we are using those on the, on today's project, but you'll be receiving a full packet as a thank you for me. So let us go ahead and get started. Oh, thank you, Nell. Thank you. I'm so happy to be back. I missed I missed you guys last week, um, but we are back in action. So we are going to start off with our first project, and it has the beautiful um, designer paper that coordinates with this suite. It's the bright and beautiful uh, coordinating designer paper, and we are also using this cute little hexagon, which is part of the... Um, Oh gosh, what is something fancy dice? So let us go ahead and see what is going to be in your kit. You'll be receiving in your kit 
um, a pretty peacock top fold card base. You'll be receiving two pieces of basic white, one for the inside panel and one for the outside. You'll also be receiving a strip of designer paper for the inside panel and two pieces of designer paper for that. And you will also be receiving, I will have pre-cut out the stars for you in the different designer series um, patterns that is from this suite. Um, so you'll be receiving three of the stars and then you'll be receiving your two hexagon pieces that will have that you can um, stamp your sentiment on. So let's go ahead and get started. We will start off by, of course, doing the inside because we that's what we always do. And did I stamp a sentiment on the inside? Yes, I did. So we are going to fold our um, cardstock and add our designer strip. And what did I just do with this? Okay. Um, well, this is fun. I just had the designer strip piece. Did it fall? It did fall. <laughs> I was like, what on earth happened to that piece? This is what happens when you only take a week off, folks. we got to get back in the groove of things. So let us put our piece of strip on the bottom and the sentiment that we are stamping is the you did it and that is going to be in pretty peacock. did it. Put that off to the side. And while we have our ink out, let's go ahead and stamp our yay you. Um, since we have our ink pad open, there's no scent, no sense of closing that up and then reopening that up again. So the yay you. This little hexagon fits the uh, sentiment so perfectly. I loved this. I was debating on doing circles or what have you, but I thought the hexagon worked out just fine. Okay, let's go ahead and put our insert in. And it looks like I cut that strip just a little bit longer, but it's okay. And then let us go ahead and start building up our front panel piece. So we have our two strips of designer paper that we're gonna glue down directly there and then add our stars and our sentiment and our first card will be done. I love this designer paper. It coordinates so well with each other. And I absolutely fell in love with this. Now this, if you notice, there's no design on the back of this. What I ended up doing is using the Memories and More um, cardstock. Let me show you that really quick. This coordinates, this has a coordinating memories and more packet that you can create so many cards and so much goodness with this packet. So that is what I ended up using as my strip. It does have um, designer paper, but I didn't have enough. So I pulled the memories and more um, strip out of that and it it coordinates perfectly. I love it. Let's go ahead and glue down our stars. Your die cutting fairy will be more than happy to uh, die cut some hexagons for you. Just let me know how many you need and I will get that cut and ready for you. You had me skip um, 
that uh, shape. So uh, definitely be more than happy to cut some hexagons for you. <laughs> if you don't know, I am referred to as Patty Bennett's die cutting fairy. Um, Patty is my beautiful upline and I help her out with pre-cutting um, some tags and shapes and stuff like that for her project. So she has them ahead of time and she has graciously referred to me as her die cutting fairy. And it's so funny because when she refers to me to that in her lives, so many people are like, I want a die cutting fairy. I want your die cutting fairy. Nope. I'm only exclusive to Miss Patty Bennett and myself. <laughs> so what I did was let's go ahead and glue that hexagon down. And then I popped the top hexagon up with a Stampin' Dimensional. Just kind of off centered. <laughs> well, I'm happy to um, change your mind on that shape. I actually ended up using it a couple of times now. So maybe you do need them after all. Okay. And then we just kind of off center that. And then I'm going to come in and just use my fingertips because my putty portion, I still need to order a putty tip for my take your pick tool. And there is project number one, all done. Super cute. Just a nice congratulatory, yay, you did it. Um, like maybe for a promotion or a graduation makes the perfect little card. So let's go ahead and put those off to the side and let us bring in project number two and project number two has bubble bath for your card base. You'll receive that. You'll receive your inside panel piece right there of basic white along with the coordinating strip. Make sure we do it the correct orientation. Um, misty moonlight panel. And then your three strips of coordinating designer paper and then your strip of um, bubble bath. And then you will also be receiving pre-cut. I have pre-cut your balloon and your little balloon. Um, I guess they're strings that hang down from the um, die set. So let us go ahead and start with, of course, the inside. Bring in my bone folder and crease my edge there. Now, I did not stamp a sentiment on the inside um, only because I did the sentiment um, so thrilled for you. So um, I just didn't want to, I wanted to kind of leave it open ended. That way it's not geared towards anything specific, just something that um, is happy in your life. slide that over just a little bit there we go and there is our inside panel piece and then we have our strips of designer paper right here on the top so I left about maybe a quarter, an eighth of an inch laying that out I like to lay them out um, first and foremost, anytime you do like a three panel uh, process right there or any type of lining up strips, you want to do your outside edges first. Uh, 
Um, Patty, I thought I mentioned it, why I'm doing birthday projects um, at the beginning of my live. Um, it is my birthday month, so I am doing my favorite birthday bundles out of the annual catalog. I apologize if I missed that. I thought I mentioned it, but I'm not sure if I did, so I'm mentioning it again if I, in case I didn't mention that. Happy birthday month. Of course I have to celebrate the whole month, right? Some people don't want their birthdays, but I, I love my birthday. I am a birthday girl. No matter what age I hit. And I am happy to say that I will be 51. Okay, and then let's go ahead and lay that panel down. And then we will stamp our sentiment on our top strip panel. That sounds fantastic. Marcy, I can have your birthday. <laughs> that sounds fantastic, Patty. I have the best friends. Um, Patty is going to take me to lunch. I'm excited to go to lunch with my friends. And happy sashimi sounds perfect. And then we are doing, now you could certainly do the happy birthday, absolutely, but I just went ahead and did so thrilled for you just for something different. These all certainly can be um, birthday celebration cards which technically they should have been, but I just wanted to change it up just a little bit. But we are using a birthday celebratory suite or bundle. Okay, and then I'm going to bring in a glue dot and pop this up. I don't know about you, but I love spoiling my friends for their birthdays. And I have the best friends that like to spoil me. Okay. There we go, pop that up and bring in some dimensionals, or some dots, some gems. Let's do one right there. My goodness, this did not have a little backing come off. There we go. And there is project number two. And let us now quickly move on to project number three. We are making fantastic timing. And in this kit, you will have your berry burst panel, card base, top folding. And then, as I mentioned before, decorative designer card base here. This 
this paper or this these uh, memories and more are so much fun. I'll have to share in a blog post my projects that I made at the beginning of the summer with the memories and more um, card base. And then I also cut a strip of um, designer paper to go on the inside panel piece right there. And then of course um, a smaller basic white piece that'll just go right over the top that we're going to do our decorating. So let us start again with the inside panel and get that done. Make sure we got the right size because I have two different sizes. Hello, Carol. Welcome. Happy to have you here. Thanks for joining us today. Don't worry about it. That's what the replays are for. We are just starting out with project number three. And you can certainly catch the replay. To the inside panel piece. I probably should have stamped our sentiment on there really quick. Let's get our happy birthday. And we are going to use balmy blue or boho blue. I keep saying balmy blue when we're using boho. Apologize for that. Happy birthday. Let's close that up. And then we will put our star panel on for and then we'll build up our um, pieces and also you will also be receiving and I have pre-cut your birthday balloons out in this it's from this panel piece that is from the um, memories and more as well and then from the d designer paper I have pre-cut your star out for you Let's go ahead and put that down. Isn't that so cute? I love this. Um, I love these cards. They make the best. Like I said, I will share. Maybe I'll share it on the live next week too so you guys can see. But I'll also be doing a blog post with those projects as well. So before we get started on this, let's go ahead and bring in. Let's put that off to the side really quick. Let's bring in a scratch piece here because we are going to be doing some um, blending. So you'll see these two strips of what I have done. I have brought in some of my um, post-it paper or post-it um, tape and I have laid down probably maybe a about a half of an inch there strips and then I took this other one and took the straight edge there and made it probably let's go ahead and rotate it this way because it'll be easier to blend so we left another strip but it looks like I left about an inch there so we're going to bring in our blending brushes and we're going to start off with our boho blue and just blend some strips it's kind of got a little happy there now you if you have the smaller blending brushes that certainly would work out much better but unfortunately, I do not have the mini blending brushes. I only have the regular ones. And that works out just fine for both. Just kind of blend that out. I kind of got a little happy there on the end there. But that is okay. I don't know about you, but I love blending. It is so therapeutic. I absolutely love that. 
Oh, thank you, Patty. I'm glad. I'm always taking ideas from you, and I'm just always so honored when you like my ideas. So, Fresh Freesia is our next one. And then we'll just come in and blend that out. I'm trying not to go over my tape. That's why I said the mini blending brushes would definitely work out um, much more easier for you. But I love blending and the magic of post-it tape. It just comes off so nicely. And if you have masking paper, that same thing, or even just a regular, just piece of um, paper will work even. Print paper will work just fine. Okay. And now, magic of peeling this away. There we go and it makes the perfect lines and you have two little fun strips that has like the little tear on one side and a solid on the other. It looks like I did a little bit of a thinner strip on the original but I like kind of like the thicker strip. So let us go ahead and what I did for the sentiment, because it's a rounded sentiment, I went ahead and I laid down my balloons to see where I wanted that place. And then I'm going to come in with the sentiment and the boho blue and stamp the sentiment just around that top. And it kind of goes around that balloon. So we're gonna, ooh, it kind of didn't do a solid image, but that's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna, it's gonna be okay. I don't have my um, Stampin' Right markers, but I do have them off to the side so I can kind of fill in just a little bit on that, but I should have put down my um, mat to help with that. So now you'll see the strings and then I'm gonna come in with my boho blue again on the um, strings and we'll line that up and do three separate strings there. And I'm gonna kinda eyeball that. Good thing about photopolymer. There's that one. Oh, shoot. I dropped my stamp. But that's okay. This is going to be a very artistic card. Come in at an angle and do that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of lower the balloons a little bit so it kind of meets up with those balloons. And I wish I had not dropped that, but that's okay. We're going to make it work. Come in with our glue. Thank you, Nell. I'm so glad you love this card. I honestly, this one might be my favorite out of the three. I know it's like picking your favorite child, but I could put some strings over the blob or just lower it even more so, kind of at an angle. There, I lowered it just a little bit more and kind of covered it up with the balloon. There we go. And it's not as noticeable. Come in with my star. Now you could either do that side, which I kind of wish I had, 
but that's okay. I'm gonna do the solid side. Kinda wish I had done the stripies on that, but that's okay, it, it all coordinates. That's what I love about this paper. And I kind of almost wish I made the basic white just a little bit smaller to show a little bit of that, the, that star paper because that to me is the star of the show. <laughs> no pun intended there. So there we have it. The, oh, we've got to put our um, gems on. There is project number three. Cute, let's go ahead and bring in all three projects. So you can take a peek of all three projects that we made today. So glad you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did enjoy today's projects, I would love for you to click that like button on my video. That helps my channel grow. And if you know of anyone that would love to watch my weekly lives, please be sure to share my channel with them. That helps me out so much. I appreciate you guys coming here each week and supporting me. Now remember to come back tomorrow for my Fun Fold Friday. And we will be premiering at 9 a.m. Pacific time. And what premiere means is that it is a like a live, but I will be in the chat watching it and answer any questions that you may have. Do you guys want to take a sneak peek of the project? Let me see if I have it nearby to where I could grab it. You want a sneaky peek of Fun Fold Friday for coming to my live today as a thank you? Here we go. Here is our little belly band. And we will be creating this fun fold tomorrow. So that is a sneak peek of the project for tomorrow. So I hope you all join me tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific time right here on the channel. Like I said, it'll be premiere mode. So I will be in the chat to answer any questions. I hope you all have a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend, and I hope to see you in the chat tomorrow. Otherwise, I will see you all next week. Thanks for joining me today, guys. Have a great day. Bye, everyone.